and as you can see the liquid the water and washing soda solution there is no scum whatsoever on it the anodes I'm using are these carbon plates they work really good uh, since I have been using carbon I have not had any scum build up whatsoever this is what I use in my electrolysis tank it's two and a half by three and a quarter and I, I got I got this I got this piece of it's dirty it's carbon I got this at a yard sale years ago and this is the last chunk that I have it was a block and the guy's hobby was radios short wave I think this right here is the ideal material to use in the electrolysis tank I saw these two planks off with the bandsaw I'm going to save this aside for later and I'm going to set up a five gallon bucket that's the size I need at present I do have a 55 gallon I just wanted to bring this here carbon to your attention if you use this you won't have the contamination well just kind of follow along and uh, and you'll see the difference we're going to get on to the bucket now the way I set my electrolysis tank up is as such I've got just tap water from the faucet in the bucket five gallon plastic container these are those carbon plates that I cut earlier the electrolysis is line of sight so you put one on one side one on the other side and it will go they'll meet each other you can actually put two more in which I do occasionally and it'll get all four sides but for this this little for the demonstration I'm just going to go with the two and you see I'm putting that's uh, uh, well you know I ain't much on measuring but this is that arm and hammer you get it right up there to the grocery store super washing soda the chemical on this right here is sodium carbonate this works really good for me and I put about two cups in yonder and I mean I'm going to stir that for just a just a little bit you know give it a head start and actually if you have warm water if you heat these tanks it increases the the cleaning power for two or three different reasons it just works much better so you see I kind of mixed that a little bit and I do have I got some Maytag parts here and the, and the way they're lined up I only need about two sizes it's a couple of some pistons and some nuts and bolts and they're just wired on some some baling wire and these wires I've been using for years this is an all thread going across there and I have used that for a couple of years so it really don't take much to get the current from one side to the other I made this jumper it just goes from that one around to this one and then the I have the battery charger setting up there it's plugged in the ground goes to the part to be cleaned and the current goes to the other plate I'm actually reading about 10 amps right there so that's really good and as you can see it's it's already quite active uh, that was probably about two I'm, I'm on I'm gonna guess that two and a half cups you know you can measure it if you want to but no need to but I can see activity on that plate where it's uh, bubbling and I also can see activity on this plate where it's bubbling so it, it is it's that's 
That's all they are to it. Just pull you up a chair and uh, and sit back and uh, enjoy. You know, uh, just watch it as long as you want to, or either just wait till tomorrow and take them out, bar brush them, and if need be, turn them a quarter of a turn, put them back in. Uh, just clean it ever how good is required for you. As you can see from the bubbling action, uh, quite a lot of activity. That does indicate and mean that the current is flowing through the water.